Hello there. Here is another Dr. Seuss book for you. In this book, he's using the name of Theo Lesig or Lesig. I never did figure out how to pronounce that. So he was writing as Theo. And this time the book is illustrated by Richard Erdos. So a different illustrator, which makes the book a little bit different in the way that it looks. This book is called Come Over to My House. Let's see what it says. Some houses are bricks and some houses are sticks. Some houses are square and some houses are round. There are all kinds of houses around to be found. Some are on stilts high up off the ground. Some houses are wide, some houses are thin. Some are so thin you can hardly get in. But wherever you go, you will hear someone say, come over to my house, come over and play. Come over to my house, the fishing is great. They bite all the time and you don't have to wait. Come over someday and bring plenty of bait. My house has a kite that can whistle and sing. Come over someday and bring plenty of string. He has an owl kite. My house has so many big pine trees outside, we can slide on my wonderful pine needle slide. The roof of my house has a stork on a nest. The roof of my house is a good place to rest. You could play on my roof, but my house is so tall, it's a long way downstairs to go after the ball. My house is bright pink. It's a great place to play. Our streets are wet water. We like it that way. <clears throat> That's a cool house on the water. Come up on my porch and I'll give you a treat. Spaghetti. We'll eat and we'll eat and we'll eat. We'll eat 20 miles of it. We'll eat a ton. Food at my house is such wonderful fun. Come over to my house and sit by the fire. My fire burns trees and it's hotter and higher. Our fire's in a stove. It makes beautiful heat. Come over, come over and warm your cold feet. Come over to my house. I live on a boat. I live in a city of houses that float. Come into my houseboat, have supper with me. I'll give you cold rice and a cup of hot tea. I eat with chopsticks and you can learn how, but boy, you are terribly sloppy right now. It's hard to eat with chopsticks. Come over to my house and stay for the night. We have 200 rooms, so I'm sure it's all right, but don't touch the tigers, they're liable to bite. In my house, my bath is a fancy machine with handles and spouts and it's long and it's green. I just have a tub, but I keep just as clean. Do you have a big bathtub? I don't. <laughs> At our house, hot water comes out of the rocks. It's handy for washing ourselves and our socks. Come over to our house, you'll like our bath too, especially if you have some laundry to do. Oh, well, that, that's a bathtub. You can do your laundry in it? Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Over at my house, you'll eat funny fruit. You'll ride on my llama and toot on my flute. My house has books, and they're all very fine. I'll learn to read yours if you'll learn to read mine.
in a faraway place in a wide empty land. My house is a tent in the wind and the sand. At my house, I'll show you a wonderful show in the night in the sky when the northern lights glow. So up here at his house, you can see the northern lights. That's when the sky gets really colorful. I always wanted to see those. My house has an ostrich. Hop on, take a ride. But watch where you're riding. Don't ride him inside. In back of my house lives a red kangaroo, two koala bears, also an emu or two. Come over and play, we're all waiting for you. My house is quite cold, I need fur to sleep in. My house is quite hot, I just sleep in my skin. I sleep in a bed with a big puffy puff. Come over some night, we have puff puffs enough. In my house, I sleep on a mat on the floor. There's a mat here for you, but I hope you don't snore. Come over to my house and we'll milk a cow. It isn't too hard and it's time you learned how. You can milk goats at my house, so come with your pail. It's easy, you'll find the milk back near the tail. My house has a reindeer. Come on, don't be shy. Step up and start milking, boy. Give it a try. Every house in the world has a ceiling and floor, but the ones you'll like best have a wide open door. Some houses are rich, full of silver and gold. And some are quite poor, sort of empty and old. Some houses are marble and some just are tin, but they're all all alike when a friend asks you in. There are so many houses you'll meet on your way and wherever you go, you will hear someone say, come over to my house, come over and play. So many different kind of houses, huh? Amazing. See you later.